Ladies and gentle women, madmen and mad women, check out this exercise. What do you think? We have to find the shaded blue area. Let's do it. First we have a rectangle and three semicircles. And notice that this green part, the area of the green part is 15 pi. What we are going to do is the following. We are going to call the blue area. We will call it area 1. That area 2, the white area. We are going to call this one here area 3. And finally, the area of this entire semicircle, notice we're going to put it here, we'll call it area 4. So you'll agree with me that area 4 is equal to area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. Area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3, perfect straightforward, right? So what happens here? We have that area 4, we can find it because area 4 is the area of the entire semicircle and we only need its radius, look, pi times the radius squared over 2, we're talking about a semicircle. The radius is 8 because it is the height of the rectangle since it reaches from this point to this point here very well so we can replace here with 8. Excellent! Here we have area 1 notice that area 1 is going to be this area here we are going to name the radius of this area with a capital R a capital R over here and a capital R over there I place the center of the semicircle around here so area 1 is going to be pi in uppercase R squared over 2 plus area 2 which we will call its radius lowercase r lowercase r here and lowercase r there therefore the area would be pi times lowercase r squared over 2 and plus area 3 but if we have area 3 it is 15 pi let's note it 15 pi over here and notice that we can multiply by 2 to simplify these two here let's do it so when multiplying the whole equation by 2 these two here will be simplified with these two and I will have this up here 8 squared gives me 64 pi very well we continue these two simplifies with these two and I have p times r squared very well and here these two simplifies with these two and I have pi times r squared and here 2 times 15 gives me 30 p and notice that in the whole equation there is pi we can divide the whole equation by pi so we divide by pi very well then by dividing the entire equation by pi all the pi's will disappear leaving 64 here just r squared here plus r squared here and just 30 here fantastic now notice that we have an equation with two variables uppercase r and lowercase r we are interested in uppercase r so let's see if we can find lowercase r in terms of uppercase r. All this line here we can do by adding little pieces. r plus r gives us 2 lowercase r. r plus r gives us plus 2 uppercase r. And this is going to be equal, guess what? To 16. How do we know? Because the radius of the large semicircle, notice this semicircle here is 8. And so the diameter has to be 16. And this whole part here is the diameter. Very well. All of this is divisible by 2. Let's divide. So dividing by 2 gives me here r plus r equals 16 by 2, which gives us 8. Let's solve for r in terms of r. It remains r equals 8. And this capital R, as it goes to the other side, becomes minus capital R. Fantastic. We have already found lowercase r in terms of capital R and we can replace it here but in our equation we would have 64 equals r squared plus instead of this we put this then we have 8 minus r squared and plus 30 fantastic and now we are going to solve this binomial squared we have 64 here we have r squared very well plus 8 squared which gives us 64 the double product the first by the second gives us minus 16r and the second term squared would give us plus r squared here we have well 3 very well and notice the 64 with the 64 well goodbye here we have 0 we have that plus r squared plus r squared 12r here we have minus 16r and finally plus 30 all of this here we can divide by 2 let's do it divide by 2 again dividing this here by 2 we have 0 divided by 2 
which gives us 0. 2 divided by 2, which leaves us with r squared. And 16 divided by 2 gives us 8r. And 30 divided by 2 is 15. Fantastic. Here we have a quadratic equation that we can solve with the quadratic formula. Or we can also use a mathematical trick here. In this video to learn something more, we are going to use the mathematical trick. So, here we have 0. Remember, if you are enjoying the video, you can subscribe and give it a like. Let's see. We have r squared here. And tell me if we can write this minus 8r as minus 3r and minus 5r. Of course, because if we add these two, it gives us this here. Very well. We did this on purpose to have here a factorization by grouping terms. We are going to do that with a blue pen here. Notice we have 0 on the left side and on the right side we have r squared minus 3r. Look at these two terms where we are going to take out the common factor r. So r multiplied by r, r times r gives us this r squared minus 3 very well. And now here, factoring out the 5, the negative 5, we are going to factor out the negative 5. Uh, inside the parenthesis goes this r, minus 5 times r would give us this minus 5r. And to get 15, we have to multiply by minus 3. And notice here we have two things in common, r minus 3 and r minus 3. We find that 0 is equal to r minus 3 in parentheses multiplied by r minus 5. Very well. And now we can set each term to 0. We have r minus 3 equals 0 here and r minus 5 equals 0. Solving for r, we have r equals 3 here and over here we have r equals 0. Phenomenal. We now have the solutions to our quadratic equation and one of these must be the solution for the radius of the circle, of the semicircle for which we want to find the area. And take a close look at this semicircle. And this semicircle here, the uppercase r radius has to be larger than the lowercase r because the semicircle is smaller. If we consider that capital R is equal to 3 and replace it here, we get that lowercase r is equal to 8 minus 3, which gives us 5. And notice, lowercase r would be larger than capital R, so this solution doesn't work for us, and the only one that works is this one here. And we can say, ladies and gentlemen, that the shaded area is equal to pi times r squared over 2, and replacing capital R with 5, we get that the shaded area by the beards of Riemann is 25p and a half square units. Fascinating. We have already found the shaded area. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. Bye bye.